Uh, I'm Eddie, and, and I'm the founder and CEO of Raysoft. Um, and uh, Raysoft is a, a company located in China. And uh, we are originally uh, from Hong Kong University of Science and Technologies. And so uh, we have uh, a lot of experience in micro LED fabrication. And here's a wafer, eight inch, with yeah. hundreds and hundreds of uh, micro displays. Yeah. Micro LED. Yeah, we can fabricate more than 2,000 micro displays in one single wafer. Whoa. If different we, sizes there? Yeah, in this version, we have different chips in one wafer. So you have the R &D. some smaller ones, some bigger ones? Yeah, there's the R&D version. So here we see um, yeah, 0 0.11, 0 0.22, so this is bigger one? Yeah, bigger one with higher resolution, and, and but they share the same uh, pixel pitch. Uh, the pixel size is 3.5 micron, and so the color pixel is uh, 7 micron. And we use uh, RGGB configurations to form the color uh, pixel. Nice. And this the point one inch display I think is the smallest micro display in the world. And it's full color? It's full colors. And we can form full color display by our proprietary quantum dot uh, photoresist. Quantum dot? Yeah, we do quantum dot photoresist by ourselves. How does it work? And we mix quantum dots with photoresist and with some uh, 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 patterning uh, process to form the color pixel. So you need to kind of like print the, and, and you convert the blue or what do you do? Yeah, we convert the blue pixels into red and greens. Actually, it's a, it's a uh, lithography process. We do the spin coding of the photoresis and use the lithography process to pattern it, to form the uh, red and green subpixels separately. So because it's so small, uh, it can be low power also, this one? Uh, What's yeah. the advantage? Yeah, uh, actually because we focus on the AR applications and we do micro display for AR glasses. So it, it's, it's necessary to be small and also high brightness. And it can, uh, it can work with uh, waveguide optics. So here we see some illustration of uh, the future. You can enable yeah, amazing this, AR. This, How this far in the future is that? Do you have some prototypes already? <laughs> yeah, we have the uh, waveguide demo. You can check here. It's powered on right um, now? It's used our one inch micro display. And the waveguide is a 2D geometric waveguide. Nice. And you can see the image through the optics. This is full color. It's full colors. It, What's the resolution I'm seeing? Uh, 320 times 240 QVGA. And I think it's good enough for in information display. And so most importantly, uh, our technology is uh, we can make full colors in single panels. So our process is mass manufacturable and also in low cost. Single panel, full color, um, because you do this quantum dot solution. Yeah, we do quantum dot solutions. So everything's uh, based on wafer fabrications without um, uh, complex optical um, packaging. So Facebook guy today, he was saying uh, he wants you to call him if you have a good red. Do you have good red? How's your red? Yeah, we base on the quantum dot solutions. So we convert blue micro LED uh, into red subject. Great red, full red? Yeah, we can make Cause when, red. Because when I look at here, the display, I see a bunch of red. Red apples, red flowers, and it's good. Yeah, yeah. We can change the videos and we can show you the red. It's very pale. On this? We can change the videos. Nice. You just choose it on the player, and then you output. Okay. The right aspect ratio. Yeah. Let me see if I can focus. Oop. You can add the filter if necessary. 
if it's too bright, okay. you have to use the... Uh, Let's try the filter. Uh, it's an amazing experience for me to to look at it. Uh, you need to, uh, uh, need to have the, the lens, yeah, the amplifier. Whoa. That's, that's really nice. And this is like a le lens to amplify it, or what does it do? Um, is it zoom? Yeah, yeah zoom. you can zoom to get the image clear. How's the quality of the screen? I think it's, we have the best uh, image quality. And really? Yeah, we, we already um, uh, uh, to avoid the problem of the blue leakage. And also we have our own optical structure to avoid uh, crosstalk problems. And so we can achieve very high uh, white color garments in our current uh, micro display. How's it compared with the micro OLED? Yeah, we have comp compatible uh, color garments. So uh, I think uh, later on, uh, micro LED uh, with quantum block technologies uh, is possible to replace uh, micro OLED. Nice. It's hard for me to capture, but I think we captured a little bit. And how expensive is this? Um, the quantum block uh, technology, the advantages is it can make the display very low cost. Compared yeah. to micro OLED, will yeah, be more yeah, affordable. Yeah. I think because I cannot pay uh, Apple Vision Pro; it costs more than my car. You know, uh. Uh, so <laughs> is there a chance we can have amazing AR solutions, five hundred dollar, something like that? Yeah, I think it's possible. So, How yeah, far? With, with uh, after mass man, in fact, in fact uh, many productions, mass production, we can achieve uh, low cost. Yeah, because our chip size is very small. And we can make many micro display in one single wafer. And uh, there's a few competitors in uh, Display Week, right? Yeah. Um, are you friends with them, or <laughs> everybody's doing it differently? I think they uh, have different approaches to make the micro display. And we focus on the photolithography process to do the palm dot patterns. Do and you think you're better than uh, uh, JBD or Porotech? Or who's the other guy? Play Nitride? You, you, you have the best? Yeah, I think we have the best uh, technology and it's mass manufacturable. And I think it's very important. What do we see here? Um, it's the, uh, uh, the corn dot patterns on, on the glass wafers. You can check the, um, the emission is very um, bright. The guy from the the quantum dot inventor just got the Nobel, pre, Nobel, not the Peace Prize, but the Nobel Prize in chemistry. Um, mm -hmm. And Nanosys, this, oh, yeah. this company, yeah. they are provider of the material? Yeah, they, are the, they are the material providers. And Could be. Actually, we, we use um, uh, China suppliers. Yeah. Is it the best quality? Yeah, I think. Of uh, quantum dots? Yeah, uh, based on our yeah. test, uh, I think we have the the best solution. All right. Uh, so, how far, uh, how far from, uh, you know, like uh, mass production, mass deployment? Uh, we will have small volume productions at the end of this year, and so uh, we plan, we plan to have our own facilities uh, next year. And is the fab in Taiwan or in in China? In China. China. Chinese. Yeah. Micro LED fab. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Ready to win the whole world. Because <laughs> your glasses look cool, but need to have a gla need yeah, to have we, display. We will, ha we will have a, a glass same demo same style what you have now. Yes, yes. We, right. we want to have this uh, cool this style glasses.